Hi and welcome. Nice to see you. As I mentioned in my last video, in honor of Black History Month, I wanted to talk about some lesser known events or maybe some people that, as an American, I don't remember ever learning about in school. I've learned so much over the past few years that I never learned in school, but really should have. Today we'll take a look at an inventor by the name of Frederick McKinley Jones who garnered over 60 patents during his career for some pretty life-changing things. Frederick Jones was born on May 17, 1893 in Cincinnati, Ohio. His mother deserted him pretty soon after his birth and his father attempted to raise him alone but ended up sending young Fred to live with a priest in Covington, Kentucky at only 7 years old. Frederick dropped out of school sometime between 6th and 8th grade and got a job as a cleaning boy. The priest, Father Edward Ryan, encouraged Frederick to pursue his interests as a mechanic and that he did. At 16, he headed back to Cincinnati and got a job working with a mechanic at R.C. Carruthers Garage. Within three years, he earned the position of shop foreman. Jones had spent the entire three years watching and learning everything that he could about cars and how they worked. By about this time, he had built and driven several cars and racing expeditions in the area. He was actually one of the most well-known racers in the area. His path veered a bit when he was off to serve in the U.S. Army during World War I. He was a sergeant and an electrician. During this time, he even rewired his camp for electricity, telephone, and telegraph service. He was right back to working as a mechanic and continuing to learn after he was discharged from the Army in 1919. He was constantly picking up what he could and practicing his skills with electronics. This allowed his career as an inventor to begin. Not long after moving to Halleck, Minnesota, he ended up building a transmitter for a local radio station. In his early career, he unfortunately didn't think of applying for patents, so credit for things like a portable x-ray machine were actually credited to other people. Now let's talk about a few of the things that he did get credit for. In 1927, Fred went to work for Joseph Numero. Joseph had hired him as an electrical engineer for his firm. Fred ended up inventing a device that combined sound with motion pictures, ushering in a new age of cinema. He also found ways to stabilize and improve the picture quality of films. Now, not long after this, Fred started work on the invention that would change the world and one day make him famous, refrigeration. There are a couple of stories about how Fred got this idea. One story goes that one day, Joseph was out golfing with a buddy when the man complained about the fact that he lost a lot of crops when they went bad during transport. Another is that he was just sitting in his car one day and was really hot and decided to invent the portable AC unit. Frederick went to work and went on to create the first refrigerated truck. He ended up using his own self-starting gas motor for the truck that he had previously invented in his younger days. These portable cooling units weren't just revolutionary for the food industry, but also during World War II. During the war, they were used for preserving blood, medicine, and food. The designs were modified to work not only for trucks, but for trains, boats, and even ships. Fred and Joseph went on to create their own company, Thermoking. This company is still alive and thriving today. Frederick Jones continued working on his inventions while also patenting new ones until his death on February 21st, 1961 from lung cancer. Aside from having over 40 patents in air conditioning and refrigeration, he also had various other patents relating to the movie industry, like a ticket dispensing machine that would also give change to customers at the movies. He was also known for different patents relating to automatic engines, as I mentioned earlier. He is remembered as one of the most prolific inventors ever, which makes total sense considering his most popular invention, refrigeration, changed the entire world as we know it. People across not only the country, but also the world, could now ship fresh food long distances, opening way for the import and export of fresh foods all over. It also opened the way for frozen foods. In 1944, he became the first African American to be elected into the American Society of Refrigeration Engineers. Later on in the 1950s, he was a consultant for both the U.S. Department of Defense and the U.S. Bureau of Standards. After his death, he was inducted into the Minnesota Inventors Hall of Fame, and in 1991, he was awarded the National Medal of Technology along with Joseph by President George Bush. 
Fred was actually the first African American to receive this award, and it was so rightfully earned. I hope you learned about the man behind the invention. I had no idea about him and his contributions until like last year and was amazed to find out what all he'd accomplished and how much it affected my everyday life. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.